Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 12th, 2018. Well, hey everyone, I hope you had a great evening. Everything is going well for you today. Um, this morning, we are going to get another gap up open, and it continues to build. And darn it, I hate seeing that happen because yesterday we had a 350 point gap only to find sellers there pushing it back down this wild volatility is becoming very very tiresome and if you're finding yourself being chopped to pieces um, you're not alone I hear almost every day from folks that are just having their accounts destroyed right now because they continue to fight this very challenging market and getting caught up in the morning drama is one of the biggest problems they they are watching cnbc or they're watching you know some business channel they get all hyped up about what's going on um the fear of missing out grips them and they end up chasing into trades only to find that they're getting decimated before the end of the day. So how do you stop that problem? Well, let me show you here. I'm just gonna switch over here from morning market prep just for a little bit for a couple of minutes of um, trade coaching, I guess, because I hate seeing people lose money like this, is just go to a shorter term chart. If I go to a 15 minute chart and look at this morning, open okay this was yesterday's morning gap up I want you to notice that there at no time was their buyers taking over in this trading we had a little bit of buying going on here and you can see we had a little bit of buying going on here but no follow-through to that buying no ability for the market to really move up the sellers from the moment the market opened had control of the market and pushed us down so you want to watch that closely first thing in the morning to make sure you're not jumping right into that pop and drop pattern and i did mention that yesterday as a possibility so once again this morning we are looking at a gap up right now of um, 250 points just a few minutes ago it was only about 150 points and we're looking at this big gap up this morning that's going to move us back up toward this area obviously it's not nearly as aggressive as it was yesterday but that gap up open is once again setting us up for that possibility if no buyers come in after the open actually supporting that gap we could see those sellers take over and push it right back down so as long as you continue to chase those kind of moves without waiting patiently with a disciplined plan, you're going to continue to watch your account get chopped to pieces. And the same goes true for any stock that you're trading. You have to watch those gaps very carefully when the market is this volatile. So please keep that in mind as you plan your day forward. Now with that, let's take a look at, at the overall market. The good news about yesterday is we held on to this price support we didn't break back down through there well we did for a little bit and then rally back up to hold it but we kind of held on to that price support area that's shown in the chart and that's a good sign now this morning we're gapping up into this area right here and that is also a good sign as long as those buyers continue to support that price and we don't end up with sellers pushing us back down now as that occurs kind of keep in mind there's a little bit of a price resistance area right through here it's very small not a big price resistance area and the bigger price resistance is up here so watch those areas as we approach that resistance and expect to see maybe a little rest or some profit taking as we move up toward those resistance areas. If we don't hold on, if we see sellers coming in, once again, we're going to have to keep a very close eye on these this level of support. If sellers come in and push us down, if they break through here, we could be in real trouble. So um, keep an eye on that if that starts to occur. Let's take a look at the SPY. 
SPY hanging in there as well, doing a good job of hanging onto the support level. We failed it just a little bit yesterday, and now we're gapping back up this morning. Uh, keep in mind, we have multiple resistance levels in here. Really, the strongest of that resistance level, as you can see, is marked with this top line right here. That is one of the stronger resistance levels that we have to deal with. So once we move up into that area, we'll have to watch that resistance and see if it pushes those stocks back down or if we can hold up in that area. Then we have an, an additional resistance area kind of up in here as well as that downtrend that we have to work on. So a lot of work that has to be done here and our moving averages are certainly not in a good position for us. As you can see, if we um, look at the daily chart here, we have our moving averages, 50-day uh, moving averages in decline and we continue to have, as if we rally up, a lot of work is gonna have to be done to break through some of these resistance areas um, in the chart. So don't expect just a, uh, a completely rip-roaring rally that just doesn't end here. Well, there's going to be a lot of back and forth and a lot of volatility. Let's look at the cues real quick. The cues held up a little bit better yesterday than the Dow and the SPY, not going all the way back down to test the low of um, our day before and holding up pretty well after it gap it did pull back but it held up pretty well we're going to have to watch this price resistance area right through here and of course this downtrend now by the way i have this downtrend uh, marked in here and obviously it's ignoring this we also have this downtrend in play so keep in mind if we do rally up through here we break these resistance levels we hold up in here then we might attack that resistance area so watch that closely Again, if we see sellers come in, if we get pushed back down, we want to make sure the, the lows of these uh, markets are held as support. And last but not least, let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, just not in a good pattern here at all, having broken down through this level of support and now rallying back up to test that as resistance and being pushed back down. Not a good sign here for the small caps. And once again, this is gapping up this morning, but it's still below this resistance high. So we'll have to watch this resistance right in here as we move up toward that to see if there's a rejection of that price and a continuation of the downtrend. So watch that closely. If it can pop through, obviously that's what we want to see. If it can pop through and hold up in here, we might start seeing a little build of bullishness um, come into play if we can start holding some support levels and, and spill off some of this wild volatility. Now yesterday, if we take a look at the VIX, VIX was just kind of telling the whole day um, of some issues and we were rallying, rallying, rallying on that VIX um, kind of persistently um, yesterday. It just wasn't, it wasn't getting any better until finally at the end of the day, we get a rally in the market and we see that VIX pull back. So this resistance right here is going to be very, very important. We'll have to watch that closely. And hopefully this morning we'll see this gap down move, actually move some of that fear back out of the way and push it back down here. Um, and maybe some of the volatility will drop out. Um, if you're option traders, we know that options have been truly uh, crazy priced right now because implied volatility is so high with all this back and forth it's raising those option prices substantially. So um, be careful um, with that. We don't want to overpay for those options. So be careful how you um, uh, determine which option to buy. Watch those bid-ask prices. Watch that open interest pretty closely. Let's take a look at um, T21.22. That four-week new high, new low ratio. Now, I was asked a question during a, a live webinar that I did last night um, about uh, T21.22. Why do I use T21.22? Well, the reason I use it is, is because it's just so doggone consistent. Um, if you take a look, and I'm going to go to a weekly you can see anytime we move down here into this range, we typically rally from there. 
anytime we are up here in this upper part of this range, we typically sell off. So it's so doggone consistent. We want to use things that are very consistent because it tells us um, or gives us very good clues about the market. So as you can see, T2122 is down here in this bullish reversal zone, that area where we've kind of reached that oversold position in in the market and gives us the idea that that bounce could start at any time maybe today is the day maybe today we can follow through on a little bit of bullishness and hold this market up but that gives us that confidence that there may be that chance of this rally in here now what i don't want to see um, and i've talked about this several times here recently is i don't want to see these big spikes anytime we get these giant rally spikes where you can see we get that um, uh, immediate reaction we go from oversold to overbought in a heartbeat and then we see selling come in right after that i want to see this um, settle down in here and be more of a gradual rise back up something that is controllable something that makes sense and it would even be good if it's a little bit of a struggling move where we kind of back and forth as we move up here and start building some levels of support in there that we can count on to hold price action so these big spikes we gotta stop this because it's just it's just tearing up people's accounts right now we need to drop some of this volatility out of the market now unfortunately with all the political uncertainty that we're seeing right now and they displayed that right on the air yesterday uh, a press conference between democratic leadership and the president uh, it was very clear there's a long a long way to go before we remove some of this political uncertainty in the market so expect this volatility to continue don't expect it to just drop off completely expect a lot of back and forth that means we have to be pretty disciplined to our trading if we intend to make any money at all if you're trading at, at all right now man when you see those profits start taking profits start scaling out bagging some of those gains because you don't know by the next morning they may all be gone so um, be careful with that on the earnings calendar today we have a, a big report that can really move the market around as you can see we have the cpi um, number here this morning at 8 30 um, a.m eastern so watch that that one definitely has the ability to move the market around and also we have the petroleum status report um, later on at 10 30 which can move us around particularly right now with all of the pressure that um, we've seen in the energy supply right now if we happen to catch a surprise build in supplies um, that could certainly um, be rough on the market as all those oil stocks will continue to fall we need to st start to see that stabilize a little bit and then treasury but budget at two o'clock not expected to really move the market around though so watch that close um, also on the earnings calendar we only have about 22 companies reporting earnings today kind of keep in mind that those earnings are going to uh, uh, you know move the market around a little bit but as we kind of wind down uh, fourth quarter earnings those are going to continue to diminish off and Obviously, with the wild volatility that we've seen here lately, that's probably going to uh, be a lot of those will be largely ignored unless you happen to own one of those just simply because we're dealing with such radical volatility anyway so keep that in mind so with that everyone hey a couple ideas for you to maybe take a look at and and things that are starting to to percolate here and and come around that you want to keep an eye on um i yesterday um i mentioned mdlz and mdlz did pop up and then pulled back but i still think mdlz is worth watching it's broken this nice 
uh, downtrend it's trying to hold that area right here support this is a weekly chart so you can see the the big downtrend it's trying to hold that right in here and um, if that can find a little bit of buying going on we want to watch that closely some nice charts starting to show up here if we take a look at at Merck Merck just continues to impress um, holding up very very well through this market this little bit of resting consolidation here as it moves over toward trend could easily set up that next buy point as you can see it's been very consistent in doing that moving over to its trend and that's where the buyers step in so watch um, watch Merck for that opportunity uh, for that rally there um, McDonald's McDonald's I've been kind of keeping an eye on this McDonald's um, struggling here at this top but it's still hanging on to this support level and the reason I bring it up is if you look at this on a weekly chart you can see weekly all we've done with all of this tossing around in the market is create this nice little consolidation right here so we might want to keep an eye on McDonald's if the market does start to improve a little bit McDonald's could find its footing here and maybe um, continue uh, that rally up so uh, watch it it's I wouldn't say it's ready for prime time here but it is one that's certainly willing to watch or would be good to watch another um, defensive company that started up yesterday and then found a little bit of selling right here at this price resistance is j and j so we want to watch this close if this can consolidate right in here hold in this area and pop through that's something we want to watch for however with this little failure pattern in here if that continues on down that could be the end of this run in j and j so something to keep an eye on and watch for so there's a lot of stocks out there just kind of going back and forth back and forth and back and forth um, and we're going to have to be really really careful right now with those companies because of the radical swing here in the market if you like a bigger stock you might want to take a look at cmg cmg has been consolidating along this resistance area here and if cmg can kind of uh, catch some footing here if the market does calm down we might see cmg finally begin to rally up out of that area twillow is also another company that's been trending nicely nice little um pattern right here as we moved up here to this top we've got kind of this um, pennant type pattern uh, in here we just need to see that pop and continue to move up so Plenty of companies to look at, a lot of back and forth, kind of dangerous markets, but if you uh, watch them very closely, they may uh, turn out to be very profitable for you. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And I know this video is longer than normal, but if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, click the follow me button on Facebook. If you happen to be watching the video there, click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I really do appreciate it. those those thumbs up and those comments make a huge difference in uh, the algorithm showing the videos to more people so thank you for those that take the time to do that you guys are the best i truly truly appreciate that with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early once again thursday morning take care everyone